Viva Las Vegas. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here at SEMA 2021 with our two builds that you guys have been watching us work on for the last seven months. And it is super cool to be out here to see everyone else's reactions. It was also super dope to see some people that y'all might follow and watch build stuff come out and see our build. So I wanna show you guys that. We also had a fun time walking around the halls here, seeing other people's creations that people have put their hearts and souls into, and you're gonna come along for the ride. All right, this is Don with the Deeds. We're gonna get some interviews with the modern, hippest, coolest, slickest, raddest people on the streets here of SEMA 2021. Tune in, tune on, and get in. It looks like we found another incredible DB build. Look at this thing, holy moly. This, is this yours? This is mine. You're a tree-loving hippie guy, you aren't you? I hate sound. Yeah. <laughs> this is my 1972 Plymouth Satellite. Now yep. I call it Electrolyte. It's a large sport motor from a Tesla, the whole subframe. 100 kilowatt hour Tesla battery pack, 600 horsepower, almost a thousand foot pounds of torque. So what got you into this? I was gonna do a twin turbo thousand horse Hemi and one day I just wondered if I could figure out electric. Yeah. So we actually incorporated our battery into the frame. Yep. We have a truck, so we have ton, tons of room. Yep. So you don't have that ability here. So you physically actually cut the battery up. I did, yeah. I didn't know if this was a good idea. So I wanted it reversible. So everything's bolted. Okay. I didn't cut the car at all. So I just took the 100 kilowatt hour Tesla Model S battery and I repackaged it. Okay. So I've got a box of four on top of a box of six, and there's another box of six in the truck. So you still have the complete battery, per se? It's a full thing. battery. Okay. So what are you using to actually control the wire in this thing? Uh, smart wire. Smart wire, yes. Yeah, this is so cool the way you did this, man, because you, you, you would never be able to tell. So did you do the same thing that we did? Did you use the stock Tesla IRS in the rear? Yeah, exactly. Just like the back of your truck. That's the yeah. Software. So how does this thing feel? How does it actually drive? It's the most fun car I've ever driven. It's 4,350 pounds, mm -hmm. but 55% of that weight is in the rear. Yep. So we got sports car characteristics. You can feel the weight, but in a good way. Yep. It plants on the tires, it turns in, it's great. I love seeing stuff like this. This is my whole thing with this. If you're passionate about this and you love this stuff, do whatever you want, enjoy it. You know, you're doing something really cool with this. This is honestly the way the hot rod should be. I agree. I give you props, man, and you killed it. Thanks, man, so Absolutely. did you guys. Thank you. I'll see you guys in Sonoma, right? Yeah, you gonna be there? I'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> So here we have this amazing 57 Chevy. So this is actually Hot Rod Magazine. They own the car. They always use this car to showcase the new technology. This has been the test mule for all these this years. This is a test mule, right? I this mean, is this, perfect. Right now, there's nothing bigger in terms of technology than EVs. Yeah. yeah we built a cool Tesla-powered EV truck over there, and we kind of saw some of the stuff that you're going after. Oh, oh, yeah. We got some hate for it, we got some love for it, but it seems generally that this is this is really cool. This is like the new future. All I can say is welcome to the club. How much horsepower is this? This is 340 horsepower. Wow. Yeah. We want to offer a EV conversion kit. For us guys who really want to go fast, do you have the option to physically bolt these and stack them together? Yeah, you can stack the motors, keep your transmission, your drive line. We want to try to make as minimum care of as well. Are you guys <laughs> did an incredible job with us. Thank Don't you. let the hate bother you, man. This is great. It is not bothering Chevy you. Knows. Chevy doesn't care. I'm here with Brad DeBerti, and we're going to check out his rad C10 build. Hey man, C10 what's Slayer. up, guys? So to keep it simple, I just wanted something that was way different, something that looked like a Hot Wheel. It looks pretty simple, by the way, Brad. <laughs> yeah. it, it actually looks very simple, very modest. It looks like a daily driver. Is that what you're going for? Originally, this was supposed to be a rat rod. And then I got my dad to jump in the backyard. And then it changed everything. Yeah. That's funny because it sounds kind of like how we started out with our truck. It was supposed to be just a daily driver square body. And then we ended up with something completely not that at all. No disrespect to any build here at all, but there's thousands of vehicles here. And it's like, what sticks out to your mind? You know, and yeah. I, like that was the goal with this and, and uh, same with like I'd imagine your guys is because it's just it's kind of like in the left field. You see so many renderings online and you never see the truck or the car getting built. Right. So it's like I want to see your rendering actually come to life. This is all electric too, right? Basically what we have is Yeehaw. <laughs> it's just a factory B15 LSX. It's a five liter blower. You could pull 2,000 horsepower out of this. Oh yeah. Easily. I say it's just built wrong. It's it's American muscle with a JDM. JDM. And you got the six wheels, massive, ridiculous arrow. I believe there's been a lot of talk here at SEMA about possibly maybe you and I racing someday. I think it'd be a blast. I know for a fact that electric's taking over. Maybe next year you'll have a blower motor and I'll have electric trucks. Yeah, I, I don't doubt it. That'd be funny. <laughs> All serious, I think it'd be sick to get the trucks together. I just like having fun, so I, I think it'd be unique and interesting to see. And 
And if one does beat another, let's just work together and figure out how we can get them as close. And to be honest yeah. with you, if we lost to you, it'd be fun. It'd be it'd be a, <laughs> this thing's gonna hook. What do you have for gearing in it? I can't tell you that if we're gonna race. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, bro. We started as buddies. Come on, well, guys, stay tuned because uh, I don't know what we're gonna get into, but it sounds like these boys are coming to North Carolina. Yeah. So my name is Rich, and I have a little YouTube channel called Rich Rebuilds, where I do all kinds of dumb little car projects and stuff. Mostly starting out with EVs, and knowing that I'm a, I'm a car enthusiast through and through, it's like, what's the next big Tesla thing? Because you can't, you can't modify Teslas. Yeah. You could wrap it, throw nice wheels on it, but people aren't really getting into the software. They're not really doing that much. So like, for a car enthusiast, after you, if you can't modify it, what do you really do? You don't really do anything. We decided, you know, I'm like, you know what? Let's put an LS3 out of a Camaro into a Tesla. <laughs> so this one was a flood car. And a lot of people say, hey, you're making the car slower. But the car was underwater, it didn't work. And it's a hell of a lot faster yeah. than it was when it was when it, when it was in the so ground. So okay. how much fabrication would it take to make this work? Joshua's our, our lead fabricator. Yeah, what's up, Josh? How you doing? Joshua's our lead you fabricator. Did. How much work went to the fabrication of this vehicle? It's only like... <laughs> And Josh is a man of few words. Literally, he has almost cut the car in half. I tell you what, I think from another uh, EV enthusiast to you, I think you should come check out our truck and see if you like it. I'd we love took to see your truck. I'm going to go see it. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> and it's so clean because you can't even really see uh, the cooling tubes that go from the radiators uh, to, to the inverter. That's amazing, man. That, that's a pack of a, of a Model 3, and I like the fact that you didn't actually open up, take all the bricks out. I didn't want it. It's self-contained. Yeah. It's way more sense this way. Yeah. No need to fabricate anything. Yeah. Okay. Now you're just showing off. You, yeah, didn't, have, you didn't have the polish. That's stuff. Mikey. Mikey polished it all. You didn't have the Where's Mikey? Oh, Mikey, yeah, where's he at? Or right why'd you have to you have the to polish? You're just showing off. Shine it up. This is really, this is, a, this is one of the few things I'm excited to see at SEMA. What do you think about the name of the truck? Well, this this font looks very familiar. Yeah, you might have someone knocking your door. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get a cease and desist like real it. soon for those I shirts, like boys. I think we should all put it all in here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had no involvement oh, wow. whatsoever, but oh yeah, yeah. 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 you are here yeah. now. We Team. Like you. You're cool. You're Team. Uh, what are you what saying? Say? Uh, one, yeehaw. two, three. One, two, three. Hey! Trucks in. Stop. That could have been planned better for sure. All right, day four, Sima. We are done. Something really sketchy. We uh, we let the truck go because we can't get the trailer back there. Andrew, I'm gonna hop in the back. Just don't just don't kill me, okay? Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. What do you know? Blue and red lights. Seems like every time we bring our trucks out, we get a visit from the police. Oh, yeah. So we're pulling through the drop off in the Sahara Hotel where we're staying at. And one of the cabbies decided to open his door into the truck. Almost took out the fender. Luckily, nobody was hurt. That's the great thing. But our fender got damaged up. The wheels all banged up. But you know what? We're going to keep on rocking. I can't say that we were drifting it and we you know, barely clipped some Lamborghini going like 120. No, we were crawling through the hotel pickup and somebody opened their door into our truck. Luckily, nobody was hurt and, uh, you know, we'll live to see another day and everything's gonna be all good. So it's unfortunate for tonight. We might lose a little bit of sleep. We might not be able to make it out to the strip right now like we wanted to, but we're all good, so. Pig is in, in now. It was actually easier than loading it back in Boca. Uh, I think the only problem is just that all the worn out wood on the on the ramp. That is a wrap for SEMA 2021. We came out, we hit it hard, man. Super proud of the guys. Um, truck's loaded, man. We're on our way to Compton. And I can assure you it's not the see easy e So if y'all want to guess why we're stopping in Compton, leave your guesses in the comment section below. After that, we'll be heading out to Holly EV Fest. Sonoma, California. Sonoma. So yeah, the registration will be in the link if you guys want to come out and see the truck and see a couple other really cool EV builds that I know are going to be out there. So keep watching our journey in the West Coast. We'll see you next time. Boom.
So if I can afford this, then I don't have to have a, a Donnie. But I love Donnie, so we'll, we'll keep Donnie. What do you think, Kyle? I like the brown. I'm, just, I'm trying to stop myself from looking at me. That's, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> okay, so I love Rob Dom. I'm gonna say hi. Ooh. You just have to say this, Rob. I love you so much. Yeah. I love you, buddy. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Bye. Viva Las Vegas.